it's blinding. Um, hi, I'm um, Daniela. H how many people here were at PyCon UK uh, last month? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, five, six. And how many of people of those people were speakers at PyCon UK? Yeah, qu quite a quite a few. So um, PyCon UK is the UK's annual um, Python conference, and it was held for the first time in Cardiff this year. For the last eight years or so, it's been held in, in Birmingham. And um, last year, we held DjangoCon Europe here in Cardiff, and that was a big success. And that was one of the main reasons why the UK Python community decided to come uh, for PyCon UK to move the event here, because Cardiff was uh, um, such a nice city, and they enjoyed it so much. Did I say Birmingham? PyCon UK was in Coventry, not Birmingham. So it was a five-day uh, conference. Um, we had four days of, of talks uh, and a day of code sprints uh, following them. And then, um, especially on the first and last days, we had uh, workshops. There was a, a program that was absolutely packed because on some days we had as many as uh, five or six different things running uh, in, in parallel. Um, I'll show you the, the scale of it in a moment. We started with an open day that was uh, open to anybody to come in and, and attend uh, talks. Uh, one of the big remits of PyCon UK traditionally has been education. So there was a teacher's day, teachers from schools, they're all supposed to be delivering this curriculum that includes uh, programming and very few of them have any uh, training whatsoever in programming. So the conference was able to give bursaries to the schools to have uh, supply teachers to replace the teachers who are coming to our conference for a day of uh, free training with all kinds of uh, programmers and experts and, 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 and so on. So the, the teachers are a very important part of this and they've established some um, very deep relationships in the community. You've heard about the BBC micro bit that's uh, been given to every 11 year old in the country. Well, one of the main languages on that is Python and that's because of the relationship that PyCon UK has built up over the years with the teaching community. So there's a lot of trust there. There was also a um, Children's Day uh, with special events for children. This was running alongside the normal program of the, of the conference. And uh, one of the highlights of that is seeing all the kids come up on this main stage in, in, in the conference to demonstrate what they've hacked together, uh, maybe for their very first time. Uh, in front of a, a computer as, as a, uh, a programmer rather than a user and showing that to an or the audience. And, and the audience is uh, 530 people. So uh, this was the first five day PyCon and the number of people who said to us that it was the best PyCon UK they'd ever been to was um, a very rewarding uh, for us as organizers. Um, uh, we've had this in, in the feedback. This is the view from the stage, by the way. We had that in, in written feedback and, and people talking to us. So it, it's been a great success. And, and actually, Cardiff City Hall was a part of, of that. The city of Cardiff was perfect. because It was right in the middle of the Roald Dahl celebration. So people were trying to get in and out of the conference. And then just outside the conference, there were you know ladybirds getting married to firemen and, and all kinds of other happenings going on. So it made quite an atmosphere. Um, and also, the, actually, one day of it was held at Cardiff University in, in the School of, um, no, in, in the Butte uh, building. So we, we managed to involve the university too. The whole thing, with its 530 uh, attendees and its 100 or so different sessions that took place, is completely organized by volunteers um, who are doing it um, for the fun of it. Or, sometimes because uh, they've got nothing better to pull their hair out about. Um, you should see me before we started. <laughs> so a group of people, um, ordinary people, we've got no special connection, uh, no special, uh, uh, we're not a select band of people, we're just people who uh, wanted to be involved in this so anybody can take part in it. And as well as the kind of committee who were doing the organizing. There was an army of volunteers in the conf on, during the conference itself who just ran around the whole time um, doing things and, and making everything work. Um, the whole thing was a 
brilliant success. Don't miss it next year if you're anywhere near Cardiff because it's going to be back here in Cardiff in 2017. I think in, is it going to be in October or September? Has that been decided? I believe it's October. I think it might be October, yeah, yeah. Uh, because the weather was too nice last time, so they, um, you know, we were even treated well with the weather. I'll just, I'll just quickly show you. Oh, I've got that there already. Great. Uh, wrong one. Try. So th this is the uh, conference website. If you want to have a look at what people thought of it, just have a look at that's the first link on the, on the home page. It's oh, by the way, that the, the uh, URL is just piconuk.org. Um, and to give you an idea of the scale of the program, this was the. Come on. I see it's decided not to. Uh, is that my internet is gone? Is that what it is? Let's try this again. Program. Okay. It's not, it's not going to refresh the page. Never mind. Um, I was doing it a moment ago. Um, at your room? Yeah, it was, a, it was fine. Uh, literally a second ago uh, before I stood up. Let's just try it in another tab in case that. Uh, never mind. I shan't be showing you the. Uh, now what's going on now? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so, computers, the final insult. Let's just quit that and just try it one more time. Let's Well, that wasn't so smart of me, really, because now, you know, I, I, I can't even show you the web page now. So, <laughs> I can't show you anything at all. So, uh, here's, here's, my, you know, here's my browser history. Uh, better quickly hide that because. <laughs> um, have, have a look on the website. You'll see the scale of what we put on and, and how many things were happening and how many people uh, were involved. Um, Python conferences aren't f just for experts or, or people who have you know, some special knowledge, uh, they're really rungs on a ladder for anybody who's trying to make it as a programmer of any kind at all. You know, even if you're a fairly rubbish programmer like me, every time I go to a conference, my life gets better because I pick up something that I didn't have before. So uh, the tickets were, I think a standard ticket was less than 100 pounds for a five-day conference, including your meals. So you won't get that anywhere else. That's possible because of sponsors, the fact that it's not being run uh, for a profit and so on. So uh, yeah, um, we'll be talking more about that in the run up to next year's. Um, thanks to everyone who came.